The Artscape Theatre in Cape Town will from the 3rd to the 4th of June be hosting an authentic flamenco from Spain dance production called From Triana to Granada. For three shows only, castanets, colourful ruffled dresses and sensuous stylist movements will be on display as the Seville performers showcase their incredible talent of eight young artists of the foundation Cristina Hiran of Flamenco Art. Simona Herodin is the Artscape Senior Manager of Communications and Brand Management and she joins us now on Zoom to tell us more about this production. Simone, a very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Sabir, and it's always a pleasure for Artscape to be on Morning Live. It's an absolute pleasure to have you on the show this morning. Let's, let's start with you. Give us a bit of uh, background and history of uh, what flamenco is. Yeah, the flamenco started way, way back, still to around about seven, in the seven, between 1740, 1750 um, to about 1840. Um, it started off primarily just as um, singing um, as such. And the, the instruments and the music came on later. And it's obviously to express, it's, 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 it's a very expressive dance, expressing of, of expressions of emotions, expressions of life. And it is uh, taking, taking the aspects of life and taking that and obviously turning into a dance form. And this is the same of, of the story of Triana de Granada as to how the story will be told at the beginning, first in the sensuous mood, um, and then in riveting, you know, and then it obviously, I don't want to spoil the ending and, and give the plot away um, to the patron that is obviously coming to come and see the production. But obviously it ends in an explosive um, finale as the, the, the drama and dramatic as what flamenco is. Yeah, sure. And the essence of flamenco is cante or song. Do unpack this for us. Yeah, so, as we're saying, it's Kante, as you were saying, and, and it's song. So when it developed in 1740, 1800 to 1840, it was primarily based on song and depicting uh, life stories in song, as we have similar on the on the African continent. Uh, it started with story storytelling in in song as such. Um, obviously, with people sing, they would like some instruments to accompany them to make the singing a, a bit more fluid and a bit more pal palatable. And then as the singing progressed, um, people used to gather in cafes um, and started to do the flamenco style of singing, started to do the flamenco style of playing. Obviously, when you have some rhythms, you start to dance, and that's where the entire stylized movements of flamenco came about um, with, uh, as they call the bariores, with the accompaniment of dancing with the, with the singing as well. And this production from Triana to Granada um, is straight from, well, is direct from Seville in Spain and coming straight to the artscape here in South Africa. I mean, no doubt this is huge. Tell us what it means uh, for the artscape. I, what we, I think the last time I asked about the flamenco show, I speak under correction, but I think it was, I'm talking about an international one. Um, it was probably about 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, we've had flamenco at Artscape on, on, on previous occasions with um, La Rosa, the Spanish dance school of Carolyn Holden. And we are actually, Carolyn Holden, Holden died suddenly in 2013 of an aneurysm. So the production and the show is actually also dedicated to the flamenco and that she really, not that she introduced it to South Africa, but she really took it to greater heights. Karen right. Hilton took it took it to greater heights. She she worked in the in the communities um, to teach flamenco in communities such as Hart Bay and Kailicha and Yanga, etc. Um, so this is huge in a sense that that we can finally pay a big tribute to the, the art of flamenco, both in South Africa and both in Spain. And it's also huge in that um, the art form that's directly from, from Spain. And it's, it also gives South Africans and Spaniards the understanding of the different cultures. As I said earlier on, um, Kante and song was storytelling. And we have got the same traditions and culture in a different format um, in Africa and in South Africa. So it will give the patrons an understanding of the differences in culture so that we can eventually have harmonious living between a, you know people in the world so that's what it what it means to us to introduce a, not an often seen art form uh, um within the genre of, yeah. of artscape and, and and in the arts within south africa 
And this body of work, uh, I mean, it's directed by the great flamenco dancer and uh, choreographer Luis, well, Luisa Palicio. Speak to us more about this and how they've managed to put this great production together. Yes, yeah, so this is actually eight, uh, eight, eight young artists from the foundation, Christina Yeren of Flamenco Art, um, Art in Spain, and they were renowned for their Talento Flamenco or Asonia. Mm -hmm. It was a contest um, of, of, of young flamenco. So there was sort of a period in, in Spain as well where flamenco died. Well, not died, actually, but it, it, was, it was less practiced. And um, the directors and the producers of the show have taken uh, these um, eight young artists from the foundation, Christina Heeren, to hold them into the absolutely top professional flamenco dancers that patrons will be able to see when they come and see the production on the 3rd and 4th of June. Um, you know, it, 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 it's got wonderful sensuous tangos and kanyas, a showcase, showcasing this long flowy from flamenco dresses, um, the solio from Triana, um, and intimate um, dancing as well. So it was, it's, it's, it's a masterpiece of work that have come together over a period um, showcasing at Artscape and they decided that they're bringing it to all the Spanish um, embassy together with the Consulate General of Spain decided that they would like to bring this magnificent production to South Africa. You know, Simone, I've realized that when it comes to a flamenco production, in most cases, uh, the dancer becomes the protagonist of the singer's narrative and interpretation, correct? Absolutely. It's, it's, I, I think one can also is almost assimilated to ballet, where um, ballet is also told through dance and exactly the same with flamenco. The story is told through the dancer or the dancers. Um, okay. And one doesn't even have to understand um, the Spanish language or in any language that it's performed in primarily, obviously because it's from Spain and from the south of Spain. The movements and the interpretation of the movements and the interpretation of the expressions of the dancers yeah. actually tells the story together with um, the singers and the musicians. Now, do paint a picture uh, for us of what patrons uh, can expect to see and experience after attending this show. Uh, patrons can see exquisite um, cultural dress of flamenco, the exquisite steps, the colorful dresses, the castanets um, that is you know, always associated and accompanied with the sound. They can expect a, a fantastic show of song, of dance, of beats, of rondeno style. I know it may be, or you know, all these Spanish terms may not mean um, much to, to the most of South Africans who don't understand um, Spanish, but it is an, really an expressive, emotive, dance form that is not often, as I say, seen in South Africa, that patrons can have. And I'm sure when they're going to leave um, the audience, they're probably going to be just as expressive um, mm. when they've come to understand what the actual story and what the production is about. And it's really a production not to be missed. And there are only three shows. Definitely a must see and absolute must see, Simone. Now, uh, for those that are interested to come through, just take us through the logistics briefly. Uh, Tickets can be booked by Compu Tickets, which either at the outlets um, found in most ShopRite and um, Checker stores throughout the Western Cape, well, throughout South Africa, or they can phone our, our Artscape dialer seat, which is 021-421-7695. I'll repeat the number, 021-421-7695. They can also find us on our social media handles, which is very easy. It's Artscape Theatre on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. And in fact, we have a lot of postings about Triana de Granada on our social media platforms. We have some teaser videos. Um, so uh, patrons who are interested to come and see the show can come and peruse our social media network and they can see a bit of the snippets of what's in store on the 3rd and 4th of June. And there'll be three right. shows um, on the 3rd at 7.30 and then Saturday at 1500 and Saturday evening at 19.30 again. All right, Simone, great chatting to you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's an absolute pleasure. Thank you. All right, that was uh, the Artscape Theatre's Simone Herodine, and we were in conversation with her about their forthcoming production called From Triana to Granada.